All right, friends, welcome back. And in this video, I am going to show you an um, unbelievable content writer that uses ChatGPT via OpenAI's uh, API access that will just stun you that how good it is. It blows away every other writer that includes Jasper, that includes WriteSonic, all of these other writers. It is just superior in many, many different ways. I'll also include a link below to someone that did a review of a number of different ones. It was kind of a fun little review that he did and seeing which ones uh, rank the best on certain aspects of writing. But in particular, we're looking to maximize our SEO efforts by using this tool. So I'm gonna show you how this works. First and foremost, I selected just a mock idea here. I do wanna focus on the keyword chat GPT SEO. So I created a blog post outline over here in ChatGPT, and I'm gonna grab this uh, keyword, and then we're gonna go over here to Surfer SEO. Now, if you're not familiar with tools like Surfer SEO, they're a bundle of tools. There is NeuroWriter, there is Phrase. Essentially what these tools do is to go into the Google results, top few websites, pulls data on what the averages are of certain things. For example, what is the average words, length, uh, headings, paragraphs, images, these sorts of things. And also the NLP, the natural language phrases that are in this content in rough averages amongst that top rated content. So not only do we need to, for search engine optimization, write a good piece of content, but we also need to make sure that we're formatting it so that Google sees that, hey, this content essentially belongs in the top ranking because it's checking all the boxes. So I advise you to use a tool like this for SEO. Don't leave it out. It's a great tool and it is essential in my opinion. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take information, especially this stuff over here, which I'm gonna show you in a moment, into this writer. Now the writer, if you have not heard of it, is called ZimWriter. And I can't even believe I hadn't even heard of this in a few weeks that I've been you know, going through, combing through every AI tool I can find, but it is an undiscovered absolute gem. So what I'm gonna show you so that this video isn't like an hour long, the quickest way to utilize this in the tool is using what we call an SEO blog writer. So you'll download the software, it is Windows based. I believe he's working on a Mac version, but you can also use this software on a Mac through a workaround, which is included in the Facebook group for the software. But right now I'm just using a virtual server so that I can show it to you and it works fine. But if you don't wanna do that, then you'll have to actually figure that, that desktop version for yourself. It is not that hard to do. So what we're gonna do is go over here and when I open up the SEO blog writer, you're gonna see a bunch of options. Now real quick, I should say before I jump into this, you're probably wondering, well, what does this have to do with ChatGPT and the OpenAI access? Well, you have to think about the software is actually the writer, the formatter, the prompter, all of that sort of thing. And you have to give it gas, essentially, the best way of putting it, by fueling it with credits through OpenAI. So don't panic. And when you go over here to OpenAI, it is not complicated to get an API. You just go, go to openai.com and you'll see that you essentially only pay for what you use. And when you go down here, the most important thing is that for, you know, just to start for free, you get $18 in credit uh, for three months. Now, if you wanna know how many tokens this takes, on average to create an am amazing SEO optimized article using ZimWriter, it's probably an average of about 15 cents to 40 cents, depending on how long the article is and which options you select. It is not that big of a deal. And to get a, let's say, as I'm gonna show you here, like a 3000 word SEO optimized article, it is worth 40 cents. The software itself is dirt cheap. So I think right now they're running it at about $10 a month and you can buy a lifetime uh, access package to it too, which is really cheap. I don't wanna quote that because I think he's gonna be changing it soon, but you need to go to the website and check it out. Anyway, so let's put that aside and your mind to rest because it is easy to do that and it's very cheap and you just plug that stuff in here. Now, the way the interface works is we have to put a title in here and then we have to do at least one H2 and then we have a bunch of options. Now you have three methods to do this. You can manually type in your H2s if you wanna go through the top rating results or use Surfer SEO recommendations, whatever. 
you can also have AI create it and just pull that up. And I will tell you now, I've already tried that multiple times. It produces some awesome H2s. Method three is to create H2s using AI and your manually entered SEO keywords. That's another way to do it. There's just different ways to get this done. Your H2 section length, we have a couple of options. It can be short, medium, or long. I'm just gonna leave it at medium. You can select a voice, and this is going to tailor that message uniquely toward the uh, reader. I'm gonna select personal right in the middle. And we have a couple of options here. These will influence the length of the article, but also some extra bonuses. Literary devices, I'm gonna enable lists, and FAQ, which is huge on the SEO side of things. And I'm gonna enable tease. Tease is essentially at the end of these H2 sections, it teases the next section that is coming up. It's a nice little segue to keep readers moving forward. Now, the other thing we're gonna do is, especially for those of you out there who are concerned about the whole AI being detected, we can boost chances of detection as it being written by a human. I'm gonna go ahead and select that too. Remember that Google has said recently that they don't care if the content is written by AI as long as it answers the user's query, which is most important. But if you're still stressed about that, make sure you add that in as well. Audience personality, you can go through these things. There's a bunch of different types of options. I'm gonna select Explorer because this is somebody looking to solve problems with SEO. And you can write in a particular style. And I wanna go through all of these things. There's uh, in-depth videos on this that are provided that'll talk about it. But for example, that could just change the style of the writing. Now, over here, we can uh, adjust the amount of keywords per subheading section. And of course, you could do automatic keywords. I'm not gonna select those. And before I get to the manual keywords, you could also do non-English language, which costs much more tokens, but it's doable. And also an additional option here, best of two for H2s and FAQs, which is just basically letting the AI determine the best of two options. I'm not gonna check that. Up here, this is where the magic is with a software like Surfer SEO. We have those NLP words, all of these words down the side of the page here, which we want to include in these ratios. We want those words in our content. There's not a lot of good options for this. I've tried to copy and paste them into ChatGPT. It doesn't come out well, and it's kind of clunky. It's just not written, written well at all. So what I did is I grabbed this, I have to download it over here as a, as a TXT file, and I just grabbed it and I went into Surfer. I already did this ahead of time. And you see it's gonna take all of this and it's gonna have all of that. I just said, hey, remove all the special characters and also the numbers and so forth. And it reordered my list and it gave me all of my NLP words. So I'm gonna grab this and also this place two, which is good for sticking any additional keywords that need to go in your cluster if you have some other ones as well. And you just stick all that stuff in there. Now, once we're ready to go, we could start the SEO writer. Now this is gonna take up to 10 minutes and it also depends upon ChatGPT and so forth to generate the article. So I'm gonna pause here, I'm gonna let it do its magic and then we'll come back and regroup. All right, welcome back. And this is the output that we have here. So all we need to do is to copy this and what we're going to do is take it back to our surfer seo so i'm just going to paste that in there and i'm always interested to see what kind of score we get right off the bat which of course is just a 34 and we don't have any headers or anything else or images and so forth in there so what we're going to do uh real quick so this is interesting it always tells you the amount of tokens that are spent so this generated about a 3,000 word article and it cost about 19 cents to do so hardly anything. So we're gonna get rid of some of this and we're just gonna make sure we put our H1s and stuff in here. It has marked them out for us. And you can see already just sticking the H1 in there, we're back up to 49. And we're gonna just scroll through here, get rid of some of these hashtags and add our H2s. And we'll just kind of keep an eye on the score as we do this and see, cause we'll probably continue to see it until we get to, we need to get to 10 headers here in order to see the biggest jump. So let's make sure that we do that. Hey, what are you doing? Make sure you uh, go through everything here. Now, of course, we're not gonna edit this whole thing, uh, which you should. You know, of course, don't just copy and paste this stuff without going through and fact checking it and so forth. You obviously need to do that. You don't wanna be putting, putting false garbage out on the internet. You're gonna get deranked for that anyway. So I'm just doing this so you can see 
let me optimize this. Okay, so there's an H2. We've got a still a couple more, right, for headers. Uh, four more, right? So we got that. Now we've got an FAQ. So that, that's awesome. I love this function so much that it generates an FAQ and it really has good questions. What is the difference between ChatGPT and traditional SEO? Obviously, that's a question that people ask. Those are completely different things. How long does it take to create content with ChatGPT? Good question. Okay, and let's hit one more of these H3s, which will put us our uh, scoring up here a little bit. Boom, now we're up to 59. Looking good. And I'm just gonna finish this up here. I hate always doing this stuff on camera because it's kind of boring, right? But I do want you to see how fast we can do this. And then we have a conclusion here, okay? So let's do that. Stick my conclusion up. Okay, so right now the score is at a 60. Now, when you go into Surf for SEO, and as I mentioned, it's gonna give you a rating based upon what's currently available for that keyword. And this keyword is chat GPT SEO. So right now, the average content score that's ranking is, is the bottom end is a 62 and the top end is a 68. So we generally wanna be in that range. Now, we have a lot of words way over the top, and that doesn't matter, I need to trim this down, which is a far easier process to do than generating this content to begin with. So we've got the headers in there, we've got the paragraphs in there, we have no images, and that alone is gonna bring the score up quite a few, okay? But also, if we scan down here, we're getting a good chunk of these keywords in here, but you see that the AI could not get all of those in there, okay? Um, so I'm just gonna show you just how quickly some of those things can happen. Okay, so like Google and Bing on the internet, just to get another one in there. 60 OpenAI, ChatGPT is just for you. What is ChatGPT? Uh, an OpenAI tool. Okay, so we get a couple of those in there. We're still at 60. So I have to get some of these ones that are a little bit more important here. ChatGPT is already used. We've got a couple of those overused. Search intent. Okay. So let's add a couple of these in there. For search intent. And sometimes it's going to play with, yeah, that popped me up five points already. Okay. So already we're over the top end. So I just wanted to see how quickly you can just add a few of those words in and get that score ranking pretty good. Okay. So obviously some uh, going through here, reading this content, fact checking it, you know, eliminating excess stuff that doesn't need to be done. But when you read through this, the quality of it is just fantastic. And it just destroys just straight going into ChatGPT or using Jasper, which is far more time invasive than doing this. Now all I have to do is to go, who, go through here and just clean this up. And I have a tremendous article that does really well in terms of content score. So now we should actually test this. Let's go through, grab it, and let's see how it does on OpenAI. Now, mind you, before I do this, because I don't know how this is going to rank, but right now people, you know, I put out a video a couple weeks ago that was showing you how to get past these AI detectors and so forth. Now, a lot has changed in the past couple weeks, right? So Google has come out and said that it doesn't care what the content was created by, whether it's a human or an AI, as long as it helps the searcher and satisfies their searcher's query, what they were looking for, and it gives them what they want. So it's gonna look at all of those different factors in there. Just because it's rated or ranked high on the AI scale does not mean that it's bad and your site's gonna lose its ranking, et cetera. So it's already been shown and people have done this where they pulled uh, top rated content out of the SERPs and then stuck it on these AI detectors. And it, it, there are top rated articles that are showing 56% uh, confidence that it's AI. So it's not mattering that much, okay? But we did it anyway, just because it's an option, okay? So we're gonna go over here to originality.ai. We're gonna paste this in here. Let's just see what it says. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure you knew that before anybody starts panicking about the results on this. So I'm not gonna use the plagiarism check. I rarely find anything, maybe one small strike, but the, it's pretty good. But on your own, when you're doing something you're gonna push live, you should check it. So I'm just gonna do detect AI. Let's scan it and let's see what it says. Okay, 
So there you go. The AI detection score right out of the box is 86% original, which is far in, in excess of what you really need. 86% confidence that this is a human written article. So all we need to do from here is to take this content, clean it up, go stick it on the blog, add some uh, optimized images with alt tags and so forth for our primary keyword and start driving links to it and just crush it in the rankings. And that article costs what? What do we say about 20 cents? And then a little bit of time to comb through the content and make it good. So I highly urge you, highly urge you to check out Zimwriter. It is fantastic. I'm not an affiliate for this, so I'm going to include a link below. I highly recommend that you use a content optimization tool like Surfer SEO. I'll include a link to that below. Please, if you're going to check out that software, use my link. That would be very helpful. And um, optimize everything and go get it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.